All right, um, for a black guy, which I am, I don't really watch uh, a lot of basketball, but um, I kind of just ran on this onto this story when I was on Facebook today, and um, I'm very disappointed in how brothers with money do not carry themselves as, as uh, power figures. Um, Ironically, with black male athletes and stars, you know, especially the athletes are the main ones simping, um, going goo goo gaga over strippers, whores, and being complete mommy's boys. Um, well, with this character, this dude spent a thousand dollars on a date with some Houston stripper. I I really don't know what it is about these Houston strippers, but yet, um, you know, there's always some kind of story with with these females. Um, there's always something going on. Yeah, I probably say, man, this is the problem with a lot of brothers with money, is that you know, I I I don't care how you spend your money, but stop rewarding whores. And uh, ratchet as black women with your money. Stop rewarding it, them with it. A, a date with a stripper. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's some nigga who will um, can go on a date with her, fuck her on the same night, and he ain't gotta spend a dime. And yeah, it's so hilarious, man, that we have so many black simps. Bust their neck, their neck, just to be like, aha! Look at her, look at her. Yeah, she with me, she with me, she with me, she with me. Hey, yeah, you jealous, huh, nigga? Uh huh, yeah, she the baddest bitch. Yeah, dudes get so Google Gaga over Instagram whores, um, strippers, and like, we're wondering why there isn't a better class of black women. We're wondering that. And dudes have to play their part in, in this, in creating this. You know, if they want black women to be queens, have self-respect and all that, they, we, we just need to be like, hey, we're not going to reward whores. We're not going to reward these type of females because they don't have a purpose in black empowerment, you know. I just don't get like why are we, why are you spending that much? It would have been something if you were just saying like okay I spent five hundred dollars. For him that's that's a little chump change you know that's that's a little uh, charity to the to some to somebody. I mean, but a hundred thousand for some people that's like a year salary. And you and you giving that much money to a whore. Yeah, I was just say I, I hope you hit that at, at least. I hope you hit it at least. But just overall, it's just that black men with money, like they they don't even look powerful with money. It's like you, with that type of money you making, you should have females crawling to you. And it, instead, it's like vice versa, where you know you have these pro ballers and black stars, you know. Sleeping with every woman they find cute. I swear, black men really need to to uh, gain that status with their money, that power status. You know. We really do. We need to stop simping over whores. You know. You know, so much money is wasted in that strip in the strip clubs alone. And yet we're we're trying to prove ourselves that, you know, I'm a worthy choice just because I, I'm putting more stacks on this bitch, you know. I, I I'm killing these niggas, you know, I'm making so much dough. And it's like, if you wanna show up your money, build something, build something tangible. 
build your own economy or, or something. Instead of just throwing it away to some bitch who's going to throw it away on some other nigga. And throw it away to somebody else's patriarchy. To someone else's community. Throw it away on some, some fake ass uh, purses. Throw it away to the uh, Korean nail salon or the, the, the hair weave sh- whatever. Shop or whatever. We have all this money yet. We're, we're, just throw- we're just showing off our power to each other like, oh, hey, look how much money I can give to somebody else who don't even look like me. You know, personally, I'd never been to a strip club. I had a friend who wanted me to go to one. But I, maybe I, I will go to one one day just to see, like, what is this, what is the draw? Like, what is the, the, uh, the satisfaction of me throwing hundreds of dollars just for a girl to glance at me for, what, two seconds? And just for, like, what, a little cheap little lap dance. But, oh, I can't touch her. And I'm throwing hundreds of dollars for that. I swear with black men, our sexuality is, is, it is literally costing us, you know. We're, 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 gonna, we're losing our lives, our money, our reputation. And we really need to uh, get our sexual, you know, monsters, our sexual deviants out of the way and controlled. This is why we are we're not taken seriously because everybody knows our weakness. Just throw a little, uh, just throw a little light skin, uh, exotic white girl into the mix with a big booty, uh, big tits, with a little G string, loosen up her uh, bikini. Okay, hey, you, you get half the niggas all Google eyed already. Our, our weaknesses are too broad, and it's so easy to manipulate us. But that that's basically all I had to say. That's all I had to say.